reactions to the Tennessee Supreme Court ruling of that controversial school voucher plan just keep pouring in. The court ruling the governor's school voucher program is constitutional. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell live for us at Metro Schools headquarters this morning. And Aaron, we've been following this legal fight for many years now. Yeah, Amy, you know, and this applies to Davidson County and Shelby County and basically Governor Bill Lee's voucher plan would allow parents to send their children to private schools using public money and Shelby County and Metro National Public Schools appealed the law and they are not happy with the court's opinion. In fact, the director of schools, Dr. Adrian Battle here for MMPS, she was one of the first ones to react saying private school vouchers undermine our public schools and have failed to support the learning needs of students who have used them in other states where they have been tried. She also said that this would ultimately harm Davidson County taxpayers. Now, Mayor John Cooper's office was also disappointed by the ruling, saying they will continue to fight this law. He believes diverting scarce state school funds away from public school system into the hands of private schools is against the interest of Nashville's children and families. Then you have Nashville Attorney General Herbert Slatery, who says the Education Savings Account program has always been about helping Tennessee students, giving them eligible families a choice in education, and he ultimately applauded the court's decision but he says there is still more to go with this ruling and he says that this is a step in the right direction. But if you head on over to newschannel5.com, we have a full breakdown there for you.